conference to address difficulties faced by persons with disabilities at continuous voter registration centers in the country. At least a million. Thank you very much. While commending the INEC for the success recorded in the recent elections, the Executive Secretary of the Commission, James Lalu, stresses the need for sign language interpreter at every polling unit across the country. We are sending this message today to all our politicians, from the presidential candidates to governorship candidates, down to other positions, we want to assure you that the number of persons with disabilities this year for the 2023 general election deserve your attention to look for the disability community in your respective constituency to start negotiating with them. IFA and other stakeholders at the event, including FCT Resident Electoral Commissioner Yahaya Bello, also gave assurance of their commitment to the PWD community. What we are doing with this exercise, with the votability exercise, is that we are taking the exercise to the persons with disabilities. We are taking it to their community. So, uh, like the ESA, we are targeting the six area council. We are taking this registration to each location in each of the six area council. The chairman, honorable chairman of INEF, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, is so passionate about people with disability and ensuring that they are not disenfranchised. He has included in our motto, apart from conducting free, fair, credible, transparent election, he has included inclusivity. Yes. This inclusivity is to take care of people with disability. With the continuous voter registration exercise scheduled to end on the 31st of July and geared towards the 2023 general elections, it is hoped that the process inspires citizens to actively participate in the process as seen during the just concluded Oshun elections. That was my ES. Yes, the